Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily install Arch Linux using the official guided Arch Linux installation script. So when it comes to installing Arch Linux, normally you'd have to follow the steps on the Arch Wiki. However, with this now inclusion of this script, the installation is much more straightforward. Although I would say that if you've never used Linux before, unless you want a huge learning curve, then I still recommend you install a distribution such as Ubuntu until at least you have all the basics covered. If you want some more information on this installation script, you can check out the official GitHub page for this project, but the general idea is that you burn the Arch Linux ISO to a bootable media, boot from it, and then launch the script from there. So the first thing you'll encounter after you boot off the USB or your installation media is the usual TTY1 interface. However, this one has a root account signed in. So in order to start the script, you would type in the following is arch install. From here you'd be asked a series of questions so all you need to do is provide the answers which are relevant to your particular system. So for example for the first question my location is the UK so I'm going to choose the option 20. On the next bit I'm going to be choosing the option 50 because I live in the United Kingdom. So next we need to choose the disk that you wish to install Arch Linux on. So in my particular case it's going to be option 1 which is the SDA. Next we need to choose a particular file format. I'm going to be choosing ext4, so again option 1. So at this point we can choose to encrypt the disk. I'm not going to do it on this case, so I'm going to press enter to continue the process. And now we need to specify a host name. Now you want to choose something that could be easily recognized on your network if you ever carry out an IP scan. So I'm just going to call it arch-test. Uh, next you can set a root password. I recommend you don't do that. I recommend you leave, as it says there, to leave blank. And instead, just create a user with root privileges. So I'm going to call my user Ryan. And then set my password. And then confirm it. And at this stage, you can also add additional users if you want. Again, I'm just going to skip this bit. And now we need to choose a desktop environment. Uh, the options are awesome, a basic desktop, which I think doesn't have a GUI, GNOME, KDE, KDE with Wayland, and Xorg on its own. I'm going to choose number three, which is my favorite, KDE. Now we need to specify what type of drivers need to be pre-installed. Since I have Nvidia hardware, I'm going to choose option four. And I want the proprietary driver, so I'm choosing option one. At this point, you can also choose to install additional software. I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to press enter to continue the process. Now we need to specify what network interface we're going to be using. I have a desktop, so I only have an Ethernet adapter, so option one for me. And I'm going to choose DHCP, so my router assigns my IP settings. Uh, now we need to specify our time zone, so for me, it's going to be Europe slash London. And that will basically just confirm the configuration we've done thus so far. Press enter once you're happy. And now we we'll begin the process of formatting everything and set it up for you. So the installation process itself should be relatively quick. Of course, this will be hardware dependent. Either way, once the process is completed, then remove your installation media and reboot your system to boot into your new installation of Arch Linux. And that's it, you've now successfully installed Arch Linux using the official Arch Linux guided installer script. Now personally I think this is a brilliant addition for Arch and it really does cut down on the tedium of installing the distribution manually, which is a good thing in my, in my opinion. And with that, it brings this video to an end. As always, thank you very much for watching and if you did find this video helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. Thanks again, and I'll catch you next time. Bye now.